Good morning, everybody. Doe Eyed Cookie back, and I'm here in the sunshine. What a beautiful day to have a little chit chat with you. I've got a couple. No, she hasn't done anything much on the TikToks or or on the community posts or anything. Nothing of nothing of note, anyway. But I wanted to just have a little bit of a chit chat. Now she's back to using this bold glamour filter on the TikTok. She filmed an ASMR TikTok yesterday, crunching on some. Uh, carrot and a bit of cabbage no no very dainty nothing like the foodie that we know and love when it comes to food very different to the foodie who's just done a mukbang who's spilling the rice everywhere very different indeed now i have figured it out i have figured it out my little brain's been ticking over tick tocking over <laughs> yep anyway moving on um i figured it out when we were going through COVID, it was a little bit easier to move through the world silently, you know, like a great white shark. We could just mosey on through silent as, because we were wearing masks. All they could see of us was this much, you know? And the fact that she's in the Middle East, there are plenty of ladies out there, and according to Foodie, super morbidly obese ones, who wear dark colored abayas. She, she would be lost in the crowd, surely. Now, the only recognizable thing about Foodie would be her face. Now that she is a big time famous YouTuber and on her way upcoming TikToker, the only way to get through the world unscathed is to wear a disguise. Now, I think what she's attempting to do, that was Buddy just bumping, what she's attempting to do is she's using the filters as a disguise. Yeah, a disguise. She's using a filter in a way that she's so completely changed and altered that she's actually unrecognizable when she goes out in public. So she won't be swarmed by fans and people wanting to meet her and crazy stalkers and being just pulled off the street by all the menses who find her beauty so appealing that they can't control themselves. This is what the filters are for, guys. It's to protect her identity. It's so she can stay anonymous because no one will know what she actually looks like. It's a it's genius. It's genius what it is. The other thing I want to talk about today is somebody left a comment yesterday and it's given me food for thought and it's given me a chance overnight to reflect on my actions. That perhaps the manifestations are mean and uncalled for unnecessary and just you know a poor waste of my time so I've sat and I've reflected and to that person I give a I enjoy them it gives me a feeling of satisfaction it gives me a feel of action it gives me a feeling of control it gets me to put my energy in a place where I think it could be worthwhile now this is how I look at the manifestation do I believe in magic a small amount do I believe you can manifest things in your life yes do I think everything that you try to manifest occurs no and how does the power of manifestation work the universe delivers what they think people deserve and it certainly doesn't really carry the power over to other people. Usually the universe tries to serve you first and then it doles out the power and the manifestation for others. If the intent is true and realistic and it's what that person deserves, that's how manifestation works. So to the person who left that comment, don't worry. I don't actually think that I'm going to create foodie to have an itchy butt. That's up to the universe to decide. Now, the other thing that's made me think about it is I'm going to continue doing my manifestation because it's fun. It's something we can do as a group and it makes my creative imaginative brain roll. I have decided I'm actually going to go into the Chantal realm of things and double down, double down. I'm gonna go and get myself a wand. I'm gonna go get myself a witch ring. I'm gonna go get myself baby a hat, a talisman. I've already got my familiar here, my little kitty cat buddy. My pro, he's my, um, um, he's my familiar slash content producer. So he's got two hats that he wears in the house. Oh, and he's also the local neighborhood panther lion. Three hats. He's a busy guy. I'm gonna double down, and we're gonna get a little bit more. I don't know focused and concentrated with the manifestations okay we're gonna we're gonna amp it up we're gonna upgrade a little this is how i feel like the manifestations 
all my little wishes work. Karma does its thing. Karma is like a business. It doles out a service to the world for those deserving few. You get good karma for good things, bad karma for bad things. Sometimes people and things fall through the cracks and emails missed. They lose an order number. It's misfiled. Now, I feel like karma is a company that we are just mass emailing about a problem. They're unaware of it. So every time we as a group collectively put out our thoughts, our energies and our ideas, we are just reminding Karma that there is a little fat Canadian lady living in Kuwait being a nasty hoe who needs some attention. That's all it is, harmless inconveniences. So tomorrow, what I want you to do is when we do our manifestation, not tomorrow, when the next video comes up, I want you to grab whatever it is that you feel like harnesses your essence a wooden spoon, a rolling pin, put in your best hair clip, whack on your lucky lipstick, favorite socks and shoes, whatever it is that you feel like amps up your soul and amps up your vibes, amps up your goal making abilities. That's what we wanna to do tomorrow. Chantal is being a smug biatch. She's not getting the love on TikTok. I think she was looking for because the people in this community are going to follow her over there. And the new TikTok community are not the naive little bumblers that she probably thought they were. She's not going to find comfort in their arms. And that gives me a little joy. Oh, I just wanted to tack this little bit on the end. Um, Chantal has done a six part addressing the allegations part on um, TikTok. I tried watching four or five of them, but they're all just the same crap that she's spewing about the whole BBJ situation. So what I've done is I've created my own little TikTok in response and I've posted that on there. If you want to jump on TikTok and share that around. So the other side of the coin could be um, called out. I have used a filtered picture of Chantal because we want her to be recognizable. We want to know who they're talking to because she does love the TikTok filters and we want to make sure she's getting the right videos attached, not the ones where she's looking frumpty dumpty and plain her actual normal face just wanted to throw that in on the end yes guys I've seen the TikTok TikToks and I've taken action have a great day bye so this one down here is trying to repair her reputation regarding her neglect and abuse of her animals she had let her cat these were all the conditions these were all the things that were found when she was taken to a vet check she had been duped to get her cat but the cat has not been harmed in any way she's in a beautiful loving home here are all the things that were found by the vet who had not checked this cat in over a year because Chantal never took her for any follow-ups five ingrown claws for the second time a UTI um, her bum and fur was so matted and uh, ratty with poop it had to be shaved she has had no dental health care her teeth are in bad shape and yes Chantal realized her breath was really bad and smelly because she commented on it her ears wouldn't had not been cleaned for forever she used to shake her head because she could not groom herself they were so crusty and gunked up that she was actually hard of hearing and there was an odor permeating from her ears the cat has arthritis that she has not received any treatment for she has kidney stage one kidney disease that had not been treated by diet or follow-ups or checks from the vet. The lady that she is talking about that did trick her to get with the cat was simply done by substitute. She was scared that Chantal was gonna take it to the vet to get her nails fixed up at the very last minute when she'd had an entire month and three months before that and an entire year before that to get her cat taken to the vet. Was worried that she's gonna take it to the vet, have it checked, convince the uh, vet to, um, euthanize her and the cat would be put down that is why she was trying so hard not to get her to take her to the vet for the first time we have seen maybe four or five photos of this cat in her new home looking cozy and comfortable and healthier already there is a care plan in place for the cat because she's been taken to the vet a couple of times now the lady that actually tricked her into getting the cat away from her has not homed the cat a family member has, but she has taken on the financial responsibility of the cat. Chantal is a liar. She changes narration. 
I would investigate her a little bit more on the YouTubes and look for the creators on TikTok who are calling out her lies. She's a manipulator, she's a narcissist, and yes, she has some mental health disorders, and yes, she has an ongoing raging eating disorder that she has not gotten any therapy or help or anything with. That does not give her a pass for neglecting and abusing her animals. It also doesn't give her a a pass for all the homophobic, transphobic, racist, ageist, body shaming, terrible things that she has said. There is video evidence on the YouTube. There are many, many channels that you can go and watch that have compiled the vision and the audio of her being this terrible, awful person. And I would look into her uh, reversion to Islam as well. Bye. It does give me a little joy. Now I'm going to be off today, go and do some groceries. I've got to go buy a whole new stack of toilet paper, play with the cat, enjoy some sunshine, go for a walk, touch grass. And I hope you guys have a really good day too, whatever it is. And make sure you get your manifestation tool ready for the next video. If there's anything you'd like me to know, pop it down below in the comments. If you want to hit the like, that'd be great. If you want to hit the don't like, that's okay too. And if you'd like to, subscribe and I will see you in the very next video. Bye guys.